Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today we're going to take a look at how we're going to live on Mars, how society is going to work, and how we're going to pay for things once we get there. So stick around. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Okay, so here it is. You've made your mind up. You're going to go live on Mars. But have you really thought out the ramifications of your decision? Let's start at the beginning. What does this mean to go live on Mars? Does this mean you're no longer an American, a Canadian, a Chinese, Russian, Australian, German, Japanese? Whatever your country of origin, that citizenship, and now, its benefits and protections no longer apply to you. More than likely, you'll be considered a Martian colonist, until which time you apply for Martian citizenship. Your residency on Mars will more than likely be approved ahead of time. It'll be like you have a visa to work there. Assuming you're lucky and wealthy enough that you don't have to work when you get there, you'll more than likely be able to buy your citizenship as long as you have a clear background. But more than likely for the rest of us, we have to be approved to be there. And that is a big step. Before leaving Earth, you'll have to have all your affairs in order. And that means everything. All your bills will have to be paid. You'll have no loan, except maybe those to Elon Musk and SpaceX for your trip there. You can't owe any child support. No back taxes. And more than likely, and most important, no felonies. They don't need you to be causing more problems on Mars. If you have any one of these, you'll be on their no-fly list. You'd be lucky to even get on Starship, much less off the planet. It'll be basically like you're leaving your old life behind and starting anew. So all your affairs will need to be in order. Yes, you'll be able to talk to your relatives, but more than likely you'll never see them again unless they want to come to Mars to see you. Again, it'll be much easier if you're independently wealthy, because you're going to have to pay for your ticket, and those aren't going to be cheap. Even if it's what Elon's saying, $200,000, $250,000 for a ticket, that's an awful lot of money. Elon has already said they're willing to front the right people the money to go to Mars. But realize, that's got to all be paid back, and it'll be paid back at a rate Elon and SpaceX feel is right. Will it be an interest-free loan based on your job and the money's taken out of your check before you even get it? Or will there be interest charged based on the quality of your lifestyle and the type of job you can perform? You'll more than likely enter into a binding contract with SpaceX in which there'll be a certain amount of time that you're allowed to pay off the loan. Depending upon the job you'll be doing, will it be a life contract where you'll work on Mars for the remainder of your life in return for room, board, and food. These type of jobs will be for the average Joe, like cleaning and maintenance and restaurant workers. And don't get me wrong, this wouldn't be a bad existence. The pay might be actually pretty good. Your lifestyle might be nice. And not to mention, you'll be on Mars, a place you've dreamed of your whole life. And once you've left Earth, how will the laws work? Spacecrafts are like ships in the ocean. They're ruled by maritime law. And as we know, ships on the ocean are ruled by the captain. Captains are granted full authority to maintain law aboard their ship. They have the authority to perform marriages, but the captain is also judge, jury, and sometimes executioner if necessary. I doubt right away there'll be any attorneys or appeal processes. And for the guy that finds himself being that big troublemaker that nobody can seem to deal with, he may find himself flushed out the airlock. Okay, so everything went well, and you're on Mars now. You'll find pretty quickly that this is no vacation or holiday. If you're in the working class, which 99% of you will be, the company representatives will take you and show you your living quarters take you through orientation and safety training. Then, 
you'll be assigned your job. This is a job that I hope you enjoy because you're going to be doing it until you're done paying off your debt. Not that you wouldn't have the ability to change positions, but trust me, they've got it figured out exactly who they need and where they need them. They'll have to have somebody that can replace you in your position before you can move up. This won't be like the job you're doing now, or if you don't like it, you quit and just look for another. Because even if there are other employers on Mars, they'll have to agree to SpaceX to pay your debt. And that means it has to be worth it to them for them to agree to that. There'll be somebody that will have to explain the rules and laws of the colony to you. This will include the penalties for violating these rules and laws. You can think of this as frontier law. There'll be none of the long, drawn-out court appearances that you're used to here on Earth. I truly don't think there'll be any of this life in prison. I think it'll be just end of life. Will us old guys, like myself, be able to retire on Mars? This will depend on a few factors. Whether we still have the ability to work and our skill set, knowledge that the old guys have can come in very handy on Mars. Or if we're financially set, where we can afford to pay our own way. There will also be a need for new businesses on Mars. If you're the business and entrepreneurial type, this will be wide open for you. There'll be so many new opportunities for businesses on Mars. This is something that SpaceX will be looking for. You could easily make your fortune on Mars. There'll be basically nothing holding you back. Everything and anything that you can imagine will be needed on Mars. But will these entrepreneurs have to enter into a contract with the company? Namely, SpaceX. Will a percentage of everything you sell have to go back to the company? This would be similar to what sharecropping is today. The farmer gives the landowner a piece of the money for letting them use the land. In this case, the land will be owned by SpaceX. Will SpaceX require part ownership in your business, or will they be happy with just a piece of the action in the form of a percentage? Then what happens if you decide you're not happy with being on Mars, but you haven't paid your debt off yet? How do you think that might work? Will they require you to stay on Mars until your debt's paid in full, or will you have to finish paying for it by working for SpaceX when you get back to Earth? I'm not really sure how any of these will work out, I guess it's all up to what SpaceX decides. Let me know what you think, if you could actually live in this type of situation, or if you'd want to be a business person on Mars, and what type of business you'd want to start. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.